While our commentary is generally family friendly, The Walking Dead Season 3 is rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen and Mal play The Walking Dead Season 3. On the last episode, Mal was in charge and she finished off Episode 1. Uh, today I'm in control and we are moving into Episode 2, which is Part 2 of Ties That Bind. Mal, are you ready? Yep. Let's do this thing! Usually they give us a little recap. I suspect that that will continue in Season 3 as well. The story is tailored by how you play. Bum bum. Yep. Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. Well, then tell the big baby to get in here and wash them himself. It's not a big deal. Now, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, got to get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. He's always talking about how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Want to take me with you? Uh... Well, <laughs> well what about David? <laughs> what about David? Kate. I know, I know. I'm just messing around. It's just hard to say no to a fresh start. Always wanted to go to Norway. See the northern lights. But you'll be jet-setting, and I'll still just be here. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Oh, Ooh, shit, quick, shit, 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 shit. Well, that was David's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. He should be more worried about you slicing your hand open. He should be. There you go. See, much better. What was that noise? Guys! You're... You're gonna be okay. Hello? My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not gonna give me another well, one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. It is just a glass. It was important to me, Javi. A glass? We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone. Except himself. You know what? You're right. It's none of my business. No. It's not. I'm sorry about the glass. Really. It's fine. It was an accident. Don't worry, I can handle him. He's just in a mood. Trust me, it won't last. Man, mm. Trying to force me to do all these things. I mean, of course, in present day, you've already <laughs> kissed Kate. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm thinking, you know, back then, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit on some dude's wife, my brother's wife. Oh, hi. 
Um, listen, we don't even know- oh, you're dead. Hey, hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh god. Mariana. I mean, she- she got shot, man. Yeah. There was nothing you could do. I already dug a grave for her. Oh, that was nice. That was fast. Thank you. Hmm. Game pulls no punches. Uh uh. Never has, never will. Seriously, how long was I out? That's a pretty substantial grave. <laughs> For Clem. You deserve so much better than this. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. I'm not good enough to save her. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something. I have a tape player. <sighs> I have the option to to leave the tape player, but that doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. Oh yeah, I have the candy bar. Or it's gone now. You deserved just so much more life. You should have been the one burying me. Some someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly. I mean, you had a perfectly good shovel. Seems to me that that would have been a better choice. Don't use the bullets, doesn't track zombies. Oh, hello, friend. He seems so cheerful. <laughs> like he doesn't have a care in the world. That's weird. The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? Please? They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. What do you mean, stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. I mean... Kind of. They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. 
I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. Can Clem reach the pedals? <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Well, that entire situation was nuts, though. Yeah. But I guess everyone made it safely back to Prescott. We'll have to see if uh, Kate is okay. You're back. My family did. Eleanor get them here okay. She did, though okay isn't the word I'd use to describe them. Eleanor's been doing what she can. You'd best get over to the infirmary. Hmm. He made it back. She asked for you, you know. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well? She came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much he... got overwhelmed. So when's she gonna be up on her feet again? She's stable, for now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. Thanks for trying. And for not sugarcoating it. Wish I had something better to tell you. But I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. Still have the tape player. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't, I hate to say, like, I didn't see a reason to leave that in the grave, but, like, I, I didn't. I mean, I, I, it, it's a memento that means something to her, but she's gone. Yeah. And it's something that I don't know if we can use later, but possibly. Wonder if it would have been faster than the horses. Hmm. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. If you'd waited for me instead of sneaking off the way you did, I could have helped. Would have been useful in the fight, at least. Not that you had any way of knowing those assholes are going to show up. Same thing crossed my mind. Believe me. But I couldn't wait to go after my family. Next time? If there is a next time, wait a little longer, okay? It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott. If that's what you want. Nobody's going to force you, but... We'd be glad to have you all here. Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling... better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. I like Trip. Yeah. Like, there's very few, like, good people, and he seems like a... like a good guy. The thing back. I know, but... I... you know what this reminds me of? Huh. <laughs> Mal. This reminds me of Ocarina of Time. Um, you know how in the <laughs> in Kokiri Force you can Z target the girl that's sitting on top of the thing? Uh huh. Yeah, that's. I feel like I should be able to Z target these people. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once, lifetime ago. Yeah, there's something back here. Oh, water bottle. You can steal it. Maybe it's mine. <laughs> Somehow. 
Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not going down that path. <laughs> That's a path of, you know, in an episode from now, they'll say, Did you take that water bottle? And then someone will be yelling at me. Hmm. Doesn't look super sturdy. It is made out of sheet metal. Conrad. wonder if he's still mad. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. Hmm. He's had a really bad day. I can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. That blood. I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I, uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. Hmm. Alright, was there anything back? I don't think so. Pretty sure I saw all, the, all of the things. All there was to see? <laughs> the, the game's still like, you could take this water bottle. It's delicious. No it's one, water. No one can see you. It's not stealing. You could put it back later. <laughs> Just take it. You're thirsty, ain't you? Mmm, water, water, water. You need water or you'll die. Where are you going? You get back here and you take this water. Oh. Gabe? Gabe, come on. Look at me. I... I don't deserve to have this. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was... Peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her as much as you could be. That doesn't count. I'm done feeling this way, feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man, just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not, but at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Oh, God. Shit. Get inside! Now! Well, this is great. Bloody business. That means that it's business time, but it's gonna be bloody now. <sighs> we might have to leave. I hate business Make time. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. Stop. <laughs> I read the sign. Thought you kicked her ass out. Oh, they seem mad. Uh huh. Knock, knock. Anyone home? We know them. Those are the freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired on him. Took out a lot of our people. They shot first. They killed my niece. Shot a woman in cold blood. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? 
Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Men have got to have laws. Otherwise, we're no better than the animals. Let's just talk this through. It ain't so simple. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think they need a little incentive. Uh, I hate incentives. Oh, snap. Cressy! You hurt her, I'll kill you. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, baby. All right, baby. Just... Just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. She's innocent in this. You don't have to drag her into our fight. I don't have to. But I kind of want to. Oh my god! Now get your ass down oh my here! God. Or I please. cut off the rest of them! What the hell are you doing? Javi, please, man. Just just go with him. You got to. He'll kill Francine. Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. <laughs> he might kill her anyway, Conrad. We gotta risk it. No, uh-uh, no way. We do not open fire while she's down. I like here. Conrad too much. It's cool. I'm coming out. I'm all yours. See, I would have went with Clementine's option. Thank you. I don't know, man. Me neither. Everything will be all right in the end. She's pretty quiet for just having lost a fingertip. Uh-huh. I think I'd be screaming. Good man. Let's lock him in the truck and get the hell out of here. I don't want to wait that long. Jesus Christ. Come on. I want to see him pay for what he did. We had a deal. You asked for me to come down, and I did. Yeah? Well, fuck the deal. Ah! The Clementine. Fuck? Gotta think quick, gotta Francine, act quick, no. yeah! Francine! Oh, what the fuck? We don't have the go-ahead! No, fuck you! Fuck the go-ahead! Ram the fucking gate! Okay. <laughs> the beanie guy seems like... You know, Jesus Christ. He's a bad dude, but he's still trying to keep some sense of order. Uh -huh. Oh my god. This could have all been solved with a grenade. If we would have just thrown a grenade. Hey, a grenade. That's not a grenade. <laughs> Looks like a smoke bomb. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm fine. Thanks. Fucking tear gas! Yep. Wow. I have to find Kane Gabe. Can you help us? Go, man! I'll hold these assholes off! Oh, dear God. Yeah. Gotta help these people out. Not today. <laughs> wow. Take your knife. I'm working on it. Gonna need that later. Bobby! Gabe! Gonna run up on run up on you. Yeah. Look over there! 
Oh dear God. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that, Steven? I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't pull the trigger just on anybody, you know? It could have been Clem. No. Clem went and got the car. <laughs> said we're going to Denny's get in the car I don't talk on it all right this time I know you're not clam die pretty sure Let's I shot the door this. but all right there's enough room for her <laughs> fun fact tear gas Funny. makes everything move in slow motion head east we'll catch up well we are abandoning the fort just like every other fort that we've ever seen in The Walking Dead. Oh my god. That's the beginning? Are you kidding? Good lord. Not everyone made it. And there were people here. Yeah. And I mean, there still are, but now they're they're dead people. Oh, dude, I already saved that guy. Well, now he's... Well, he might still be alive. No, he's dead. Hmm. I'll be honest. This is a... Um... A very... A very weird place to uh to end an episode but we're actually at time <laughs> um it's so it's so strange because it was an entire episode length that was the beginning of the episode uh -huh. and then they introduced it that was a little wild anyway that is it for today um dang man so what have we learned mal there's it's the symbol that's on the screen yeah it looks like the 76 gas station logo turned <laughs> Sure, they're uh, fighters of the gas station. Um, they they brand themselves with the symbol. There's some sort of gang. There is a hierarchy, because near the end there, the one guy had said, like, we don't have the go-ahead. And then the guy was like, I don't care about no go-ahead, ram the gate. So there's a huge hierarchy, which means that the guys that we're seeing now are not even, like, the head villains. There's someone else running the show. Uh-huh. Um, but it does seem that at least some of them kind of value order. Like, even though they are bad, that's like, okay, well, we're going to do things a certain way. And then that one bald guy with the beard was like, no, man, let's just do whatever. Either way, things, uh, things are off to an explosive start, I would say. That is it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, Mao is in control, and we'll find out what it means to head east uh, here on Stephen and Mao Play. I keep wanting to say The Legend of Zelda. The Walking Dead. Season 3.